So I figured out how you can become successful at anything. And it's to become successful through obsession. It's to obsess about something until you become successful at it. It takes a certain type of individual. It kind of takes somebody with a certain kind of personality to be able to obsess over certain things to the point that they achieve what they set out to do. And I know for a fact that I have this kind of personality. I have that kind of drive. Like when I find something that I really enjoy, I go 100% all in on it. I basically just consume my life with whatever it is. I used to do it for unhealthy things. I used to be that way about drugs and alcohol and video games. I used to spend all my time obsessing over video games and getting the latest and greatest video game and going all in on a video game. And then when I finally decided to like stop playing video games and start trying to do something else with my life, the first thing that kind of hooked me like that, that was a healthy obsession was Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I did that for a while. And when I first got into it, I was just a hundred percent hooked. I would go every single day. Sometimes I would go twice a day. The gym was open six days a week and I would try to go every single day of the week, every day that it was open as much as my body could handle. I went to the gym and then when I would go home, I'd watch videos on it. I bought books on it. I still have a couple jujitsu books that are on my shelf behind me. i did nothing but eat, breathe, and sleep jujitsu. And it was an unhealthy obsession on a healthy thing, right? I was able to like really rank up really fast because I was going so much and I got my blue belt really quickly. A blue belt in jujitsu is the first belt that you get after white belt. Most people take two to three years to get one. I got mine in 13 months. My goal was to try to get it in under a year. And I, I came pretty close. I competed three times as a white belt. I took first place and second place in a couple of those tournaments. And I just went crazy with it. I did nothing but consume Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for almost a whole year. And that taught me that if I get my ass kicked every single day, all I have to do is keep coming back and eventually I'll get better and better and better. And I applied that same mentality and that same obsession to learning how to code. And when I decided to learn how to code, I was 100% all in. And after a few months of learning how to code, I actually put jujitsu on hold because I wanted to make sure that I can focus all my time that I could on that one thing until I was able to accomplish what I set out to do, which was to get a job as a programmer. It took me 10 months to get that first job and I probably could have got it a little bit sooner if I had a little bit more guidance and I knew what I was doing, but I basically just taught myself. And unfortunately, I didn't go to meetups and network early on. So by the time that I did start doing that, I realized that I should have been doing it sooner and those people at those meetups were able to help me and give me the guidance that I was lacking because I went on my own for too long, but that's all right. I was still able to get to where I wanted to be. And I did it through that same obsession, that drive, that, that mentality of like, I'm going to consume my life with this one thing until I get good at it. And until I get to where I want to be. And the most recent thing that I kind of focus on like that is YouTube. I do that now. YouTube became my obsession when COVID hit and everything locked down and I wasn't able to go to the gym anymore. And I wasn't able to go to jujitsu anymore. And I kind of needed some something to occupy my free time with. I decided that my YouTube channel was going to be my big thing. I went all in on it. I got equipment. I started recording videos and I basically consumed my life with YouTube. My channel has been around for a little over two years now. I'm approaching 100,000 subscribers, which is pretty good. You know, it's it's hard to get to 100,000 subscribers and some people are able to get there like super fast. But I think that doing it in two years is pretty damn good. And it's crazy because I I noticed that it all has to do with that personality trait that I have. It all has to do with the fact that I'm able to just take something and say, I'm going to do this and nobody's going to tell me any different. And I'm going to make sure I do it because it's all I'm going to do. It's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to keep going until I get what my goal is. I want to keep applying this crazy obsessive personality onto the next thing. And since I'm in a good spot with work and with my life and with the YouTube thing and everything that I've tried to set out to do, I'm like, all right, what's next? My next thing is going to be fat fire. And if you've heard of fire, it's financial independence, retire early, right? But fat fire is like making a bunch of money and then doing that financial independence, retiring early thing. And I like that idea a lot better. And I've been thinking about how I can do that. And now I've been obsessing over 
fat fire. I've been obsessing over trying to make as much money as I can in the next five, 10 years and retiring early. I listen to a lot of podcasts and I'm consuming a lot of content around the topic and I'm trying to figure out like how can I build some things that I can make that will make me a lot of money like different apps or different websites or just different ideas that I've been having and I've been jotting a lot of them down and I don't want to like leverage my audience in a sleazy way. It feels wrong for me to try to do that because I really started this to tell people that you can learn how to code for free and you can become a self-taught programmer and you don't need all those things that everybody tries to sell you. So I don't want to turn around and say like, hey, here's my course, here's my tutorials, you know, pay me X amount of dollars and you can learn how to code and I don't want to make money that way. I'd rather try to focus on building something and bring you guys along with me to show you that you can do it and not use you to sell it to you. Share stuff like this and talk about things that I'm trying to do and trying to help out the people that were interested in coding, see the things that I'm doing because I learned how to code. And I want to talk about like where I'm headed and what you can actually do if you set out to get a career in programming and you can make more money and then put yourself in a financially secure position like I am now. It's only been in the last like 10 years of my life that I've been able to like really improve and make more money and get myself in a good position and learn a skill that has done so much for me and it's helped me build this audience and now I want to help this audience kind of do more and I and I want to show that it's doable. I want to show that if I could do it, anyone can do it. And I want to bring you guys along for the journey. And I'm going to talk about all kinds of different stuff. And I feel like I'm going off on a tangent talking about my channel again. But I just want to say that if you obsess over stuff, and if you really go all in on whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you want to do, if you put 100% of your energy into it, if you stop doing all the other shit that doesn't bring you value or help you towards that goal, and you just focus on the things that are really important, that you can get to where you want to be. And I'm, I'm proof of that. And hopefully I can motivate more people to feel the same way because man, I'm hyped right now and I feel really good. And I feel like I want to see how much more money I can make. And I want to be able to bring people more value. And I'm going to focus on that with my obsessive personality and hopefully see where it takes me and maybe it takes you too. All right. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.